Hi, my name is Mike Shackelford, otherwise known as the Wizard of Odds. Uh, you may have uh, seen some of my other gambling videos, and this one is going to be all about craps. I'm honored to have with me Angela Wyman, my favorite dealer in Las Vegas. Uh, you may also recognize her from my, from my old craps videos made four years ago. I'm also happy to say we have Dan Lubin, um, our dealer. So the whole crew is back. Um, four years later, my hair is a little grayer, but I am enthusiastic to try to improve on what I did before. Um, this time I'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter and to the point. All right, so I've decided I want to play. How do I actually approach the table and buy chips? That's a good question. <laughs> First, find a place at the table where there's space for you, yeah. um, and then get your money ready. Um, so I'll give you some of mine for now. No pockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what you want to do is wait until you see that black chip over there that says off on it mm -hmm. to be on the off side in that position there on the don't come bar. That means that the dice are not in play at the moment and it's safe to buy chips and to make bets. Okay. So uh, I see it's in the right place, so uh, let's buy in. All right, so once the dealer pushes your chips towards you, you put them up in the um, rack here. All right. And then let me say a little bit about um, the table itself. The only thing that should be up on the top here are chips and money. You don't want any ashtrays or drinks or purses or anything like that. It's, it's just about money. Uh, there's a little shelf down here where you can put drinks and your other stuff like that. So I have been rebuked by dealers many times <laughs> for placing drinks up here. Uh, and it's a mistake I still make. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they're very strict about that rule. So basically you're telling me to keep my rack clear. <laughs> yes, keep your rack clear. <laughs> um, okay, so we're ready to talk about um, the game itself, the bets. So, <laughs> okay, so by the way, everything I say is on my website. So if anything is that I say is unclear, feel free to go to my website, wizardofodds.com, and I explain all of this. So the most fundamental bet in craps is called the pass line, which you can see right here. That is something that probably 90% of the players are going to bet. And the reason I think craps is so much fun is that the whole table is winning and losing as a team. When the pass line bet wins, usually everybody wins. So it creates that uh, common euphoria which feeds on itself. It's like a contact high. So I think that's why some players um, love craps. So um, how does the pass line work, you might ask? That's my next question. <laughs> okay. It's a little hard to explain, but it, it's not too bad. The way it works is on the first roll, called a come out roll, if you roll a 7 or an 11, you win, even money. If you roll a 2, 3, or 12, you lose immediately. Everything else, the four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten, if one of those numbers called the points are rolled first, then that becomes what is known as the point. So, for example, if your very first roll is a ten, then the dealer will put that marker on the number ten on the table to show everyone what the point is. And then the object will be to keep throwing the dice until you roll either a 10 or a 7. If the 10 is rolled first, you win. If the 7 is rolled first, you lose. Mm. So I know, it's a, I know it sounds a little confusing, so let's um, play a few times as an example, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> so uh, when it's a come out roll, um, as indicated Again, by the um, puck there in the off position, it's safe to make a pass line bet. So, place a bet right there on the pass line. Okay, so what's going to happen is the uh, stick man will push five dice towards you, and you might wonder why five dice? Yeah. 
Right, when craps only uses two dice, it's to cater to the superstitions of players that you may feel that two of these dice are lucky, oh. and you can pick any two of the five that you wish, which oh. you should do at this point. Can I touch them all, or I just have to reach down and grab it? You can touch them. <laughs> all right, got to. And then the stick man will pull the other three away, and now you're ready to go. So, and a little word about throwing dice themselves. You may wonder... Um, should I throw them up in the air or skid yeah. them down the table? You can do either one that you like. Um, personally, I like to lob them up in the air. I think it looks a little better, and there's a smaller chance of knocking over stacks of chips, but it's up to you. All right. So just make sure that they hit the other side. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Not much of a lob. All right, you got an 11. <laughs> you win. All right. Okay, so Angela, because you won the last time, um, you get to shoot again All until right. you lose. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> eight easy eight. The stick man was saying eight easy eight, meaning the point is now an eight. Okay. So the object now is to roll an eight again and not roll a seven. And you're just going to keep rolling until one of those two events occurs. Okay. Okay. Nine. Nope. Still roll nine. Okay, so you rolled a nine. That doesn't make any difference. Um, so um, roll again. All right. Eight. Winner eight. Hey. Winner winner. All right. Okay. Oh. So a winning pass line bet pays even money. So, um, so pick up your winnings. So that's about all there is to say about the pass line bet. Let's move on next to what's called the odds bet. Okay. This is another bet that almost everyone at the table is going to make, and it's a great bet. It's the only bet you can make at a table game in a casino with no house advantage. So you should be trying in any casino game to get the odds in your favor as much as you can, and you can't do any better in a table game than to get a fair bet with no house advantage. So uh, the way the odds work is it's a supplemental bet made after the pass line bet, after a point is rolled, that the point is going to uh, be rolled before a seven. So at that point, it will win and lose the same as with your pass line bet. Okay. However, um, once a point is rolled, because the seven is the most frequently rolled number, you're likely to lose the pass line bet. So to make up for that, the odds always pays statistically fair odds. In particular, if the point is a 4 or a 10, it'll pay 2 to 1, 5 or a 9 will pay 3 to 2, and 6 or an 8 will pay 6 to 5. Those are all statistically fair odds, no house advantage. So let's try again, but this time we're going to back up our pass line bet with the odds. Okay. Okay, so you're still the shooter. All right. So we start with our pass line bet, mm -hmm. and we always start with a come out roll. So your turn. All right. Nine. Point's nine. Mark it up. Okay, the point is a nine. So, you may wonder, how much am I allowed to bet on the odds? I want to bet a lot because there's no house advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's limits to how much you can bet. And at most casinos, the, they follow what's called the three, four, five times rule. That means you can bet three times your pass line bet on a point of four or ten, four times on a five or nine, and five times on a six or eight. And they will have a little sign at the edge of the table there that usually states this. Oh, <laughs> but if you're not sure, feel free to ask the dealers. They're hap they're, they will be happy to tell you. So let's pretend, well, um, this particular table says 20 times odds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but let's pretend that it's your typical strip casino that it's three, four, five times odds. So on a point of nine, that means you can bet four times your pass line bet. We each bet $10, so we can bet... $40 on the pass line. And the way you put it is right behind the pass line, but just outside of the line. Okay. Okay, that's all there is to it. And the dice are up to you. All right. <coughs> See what we got. Six. So nothing happens there. Okay. Nothing's are good. <laughs> yep, it just gives you more entertainment time at no expense. I like this. <laughs> More time to order free drinks. Exactly. Tip your waitress. <laughs> yes, you should. 
Seven outs. Seven. Okay. We lost. No nine. Right after the come out roll, a seven is bad. But let's try again. Okay. Okay. Grab checks, yo bets, world bets, highs, yo's, and lows. Get them in now while the dice are in the center. <laughs> okay. And because you had a seven out, the dice passed it to the next shooter going to your left. So that would be me. Okay. So this time, it's my turn. Six came the hard way. Okay, the Mark point up. is six. So with the point of six at most casinos, you can bet five times your pass line bet. Um, we each bet $5, so five times five is 25. So put a $25 bet there. Right. And six, winner oh, six. All right. All right. Hey, the line. So, our $25 odds bet pays six to five odds. <coughs> so, six, so 1.2 times 25 is 30. Mm -hmm. So, we won $30 here. The pass line bet pays even money. So, at this point, it's a new come out roll. Pick up your winnings and make a new bet. So, I think I understand that basic idea. But let's say I've already got that bet down and I want to bet more while we're waiting for those numbers to hit. Then what do I do? Yes. So what can I bet there? There's a whole host of things you can bet on, but I'm going to tell you the best thing to bet on, okay? All right. So it all starts with a come out roll. So let's do that. And you will be the next shooter. Ooh. All right. I'm going to keep practicing. <laughs> so by the way, what a lot of players do is they like to take two dice that add up to seven because you want a seven on the come out roll. It's just a superstition, but if you want to look like a craps pro at the table, then pick two dice that look like, that add up to seven. All right, done. There you go. <laughs> okay, shooter, your turn. All right. Ace, deuce, come away, line away. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's make another pass line bet. Okay. You've lost there. Oh. Try again. 8 easy 8, points 8, mark it. Okay, the point is 8 again. So, as always, you always want to um, back up your pass line bets with the odds, unless you're uncomfortable betting that much money, but we're not. Not at all. So, put your $25 out there, again, because you can bet 5 times um, on a 6 or an 8, and mm -hmm. 5 times 5 is 25. Now, um, it's, it's a new throw. And you want to make a new bet. So I'm going to tell you about the come bet. So this works just like the pass line bet, except it's not made on, on a come out roll. It's made on any roll that's not a come out roll, like right now. Okay. So let's put one here, and I will explain as we go. So it's your turn, Shooter. shooter. All right. <laughs> Six easy six. Okay. Comes travel. So for the purposes of those come bets, that point is six. You can back up come bets with odds, but let's not do that now for the sake of simplicity. Okay. okay. So at this point, an eight will cause our pass line and odds bets to win. A six will cause that come bet to win. And um, so we want a six or an eight. And we can keep going. Let's make another come oh, bet. Okay. Okay, your turn, shooter. All right. Eight winners. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> you are still the lucky shooter there. Yes. Okay, so let's pick up our winnings. So our pass line at odds bets won. It's a new come out roll, but those old come bets on the six still have not been resolved yet, so mm -hmm. those are still on the table. The come bet that we made on our last roll now becomes a new come bet, so an eight will cause those to win, and a seven um, will cause those to lose. Um, so it's still your sh it's still your turn. All right. Eight eight. 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 So we just numbers. won those come bets on the eight. And let's make an odds bet um, on our pass line bet. And again, 
What a yep. lucky shooter. Absolutely. <laughs> Aces. Okay. Come away, double. So, when it's not a come out roll, twos don't do anything. Oh. So nothing happened there. But let's keep our combats going. Oh, yeah. Let's make new ones. So here we want to get a six or an eight. The eight will cause the pass line bet to win. A six will cause the come bet to win. Okay. Five and no field. Okay. So now the point for those last come bets become a five. So now we've got basically like for our purposes, we've got three points going on the five, six, and eight. And let's keep it going. Let's make new okay. come bets. <laughs> You're getting a lot of money on the table. I like this. Nine, center field nine. Okay. <laughs> And now right we've got inside. a fourth point covered, and let's make new combats. So now, Angela, we will win on a five, six, eight, or a nine. Fantastic. So your odds oh, are getting better and better to, to win money. Ooh, thank you. Eight winner, eight Okay, eight kicks off. you hit another pass line bet. <laughs> what a lucky shooter. Absolutely. Okay. All right. New come out roll. All right. <laughs> eight, easy eight. Okay, so what happens here is the point is eight, but we had an old come bet based on a on an eight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to uh, win that. So we're each going to get ten dollars back. Our original bet plus the five dollars in winnings. Okay. Okay. So now let's make our odds bet again. Twenty five dollars because it's an eight, and you're still shooting. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nine, center field nine. Okay, so we had an old come bet on the nine, so we're gonna get back um, our original bet and the winning, so $10 each, and uh, let's make a new come bet. Let's keep okay. that going. All righty. Aces come away, double the lucky field. Okay, so that means you rolled a two, so nothing happens there. Okay. We'll be getting lots of free cocktails at this point. <laughs> seven out seven. Uh, seven. It had to end eventually. Aww. So that's the thing about craps <laughs> is a seven causes everything to lose if it's not a come out roll. But we had a great roll there. You did yeah. great. You would be um, quite popular in a, in a real casino right now <laughs> after that. Okay, so I think I've got that part down. But can you also, you mentioned something about odds on the combat? Right. Just like I showed you about the odds on pass line bets, mm -hmm. you can make odds bets on combats in exactly the same way. They pay exactly the same way. Okay. And I love doing this. Let me show you how I personally like to play. Okay. okay? Yes. So let's start with a pass line bet. All right. Okay. And I'm the shooter. Yes. Points five. Mark it up. Okay, so always make an odds bet. So on a five, it's four times or $20. And then we're going to be making come bets every single time it's not a pass line bet. Four. So now we're going to make an odds bet on the come. And the way you do this is you can see he put the bets way over there. That's the dealer's territory. You can't reach over. Um, so you tell the dealer what you want to do. So, odds on the come bet, please. Odds on the come bet. Oh, one too many. Oh. Right, so because it's a four, it's three times the pass line bet, which was five. So, five times three is 15. Nine, center field nine. Okay, so we back that up with a $20 odds bet. So, um, um, odds on the nine, please. All right, $25, $5 change. Same thing, odds on the nine, please. Okay. Thank you. And let's make new let's combats All right. every single time. <laughs> All right, dice are out. Nine, center field nine. All oh, right. We got that one. So we just hit that nine. Um, so that's going to cause that combat um, on the nine to win. So we had a $20 odds bet. That's going to pay um, 1.5 times the bet amount. So 20 will win 30. And the come bet itself pays even money. 
So this gives me an opportunity to explain another rule in craps. On a come out roll, even though we have all these come bets mm -hmm. and odds up there, we're covering four different numbers right now. On a come out roll, a seven is supposed to be good. So what automatically happens is they turn off all these odds bets, meaning that they're not going to win or lose on a come out roll no matter what it is. The come bets themselves will stay oh. active, but the odds are, as they call, turned off. Okay. Okay. I all know right. it's kind of confusing, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but um, those are the rules and craps. Okay. So, here we go. All right. Nine, center field nine. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we had an old combat on nine. Um, that's going to win, and he's going to refund our odds bets uh, because, again, those were turned off. So pick those up. Make a new combat. And you get to just keep rolling, right? And I keep rolling right. until I seven out. <laughs> seven out, seven. Oh, oh I you see it, in a live casino, everyone would blame me <laughs> for that seven because I just said seven. seven. Um, so craps is a very superstitious game. I don't believe any of these superstitions. Nevertheless, it, I respect everyone else's um, shall we say experience, and I don't want to ruin it for them. So. I always keep my mouth shut at the table, <laughs> especially with numbers, and I just stand there and play quietly. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so again, that is how I play. A pass line bet on a come out roll, mm -hmm. a, come, a come bet any other time, mm -hmm. and back up everything with the odds. If you do that, you're gonna cut down the house advantage to about 0.3%, which is, Right. As good as it gets in the casino. Mm -hmm. If you play that way, you're going to have the only other game where you might have better odds is in blackjack, and that's only under the most liberal rooms that you might find in the high limit room. For the ordinary Joe, in table games, craps is as good as it gets. Okay, thank you. I think I get most of that. It'll sink in. <laughs> and I understand the pass line bet and the come bet and the odds on that. But I've also heard people mention about betting numbers or making place bets, getting a 7-5. Can you explain what that is? I would I'm be happy confused. to. I would be happy to. This is a good place to end this video, okay. which uh, covered the pass line, the come bets, and, and the odds. Um, and my next video, I will explain all about betting the numbers. Okay. And again, for all for everything you could possibly want to know about craps it's all on my website wizardofodds.com <laughs>